Okay, so back, I'm now back reading, um, we're in March 4th, and um, I had to stop because there was all this drama going on next door at 5 a.m., and people running in and out. Okay, so the Beach Dolls Porpoise, 1968, this is the week I was born, a doll's porpoise, which looks like a tiny little killer whale, well, not tiny little, but a small killer whale. Well. It's, they have that type of coloring, was beached on or near my the property where my parents were living in San Juan Island. And my dad took a lot of footage of it. And, and I, my mom was saying, oh, he was t supposed to take footage of you as a baby. You were just born. But he had footage of this beached doll's porpoise, which I think was probably beached on purpose, and it was probably this message being sent. Um, but, you know, by whom and why and, you know. Okay, so... Man reminds me of Dean Fletcher, also of this guy who works for City Houses, linked to number 52. So I think this is the guy that, I don't know, I think it's, well, it's not that many male employees um, other than the grounds people. So I think it's the guy that runs the grounds crew. Um, Thompson M&M's 1800s. I have a slug I was caring for. Roxy, the cat, picks it up in her mouth and carries it out to the garden where it meets another banana slug. Archie Thompson, spiders in his house plants, a plant putting roots into the carpet after he dies, a card, a business card I'd seen shortly before he died linked to a spider, I really miss him, idea of people dying, wondering if I will die soon, Archie and Willard, idea of people dying in a holocaust-like situation, like California natives or Anne Frank, how awful it must have been. I feel there's something significant about this business card. His writing on it says things like a fall, cancer, like things that could happen to him or would happen to him in his shaky writing. He's linked to the spider somehow, idea of a prison or rainbow colors on the card. Prism, a prism or rainbow colors on the card. Um, then I see old paperwork, Route 11 in a place. Oh, Route 11 in place of Joseph Thompson's name. So this person, Joseph Thompson, who is supposedly on the Thompson side uh, would be the great great grandfather. I don't know who he is. I don't know if he was um, native. I don't know how he full blood native. I don't know where the name Thompson came from. Shaky writing links to a dream about Woodsy um, with a big neon sign. It's shaky outline. It's the idea is, I don't know, the idea has to do with um, the people to whom they were connected. So both... Archie and Woodsy were assassinated. Archie was assassinated in his 90s. Woodsy was ass assassinated in his, he might have been in his 40s.
There has been some weird stuff with his um, home after he died. Conflicts. So this is March 4th. I see now that I was dream dreaming quite a bit about this, you know, coronavirus and COVID and stuff before it actually became an emergency situation in the United States. And this Holocaust, you know, I, this, this idea of a Holocaust or um, Armageddon or, you know, genocide, all this stuff. I noticed my daughter having dreams like that, like in grade school. Um, she doesn't remember having those dreams, but I remember her telling me about them. I say everybody dies in genocide dreams, I called them. Um... So, this is what I think we should avoid. Dream of Kathleen Hanna and Toby Vale become my roommates. I have a terrarium with hermit crabs, maybe other creatures like kittens. There are worms in there too. We don't like each other. At one point they are working on a song that is like a punk song but with a melodic background music. Something recognizable, similar to when Eminem used a Dido riff in the background. It sounds good. I actually kind of like Kathleen Hanna a little. Um, they are nasty to me. We don't like each other. There's a bunch of stuff in this terrarium that doesn't seem appropriate, like yarn and stuff. But when I try to clean it out, it seems like a lot of little creatures have put it to use making homes with it, etc. I have a feeling this is about things like false stories and things like that. Um, I pull up an old snail shell. It's full of worms. At one point in this dream, my mom is talking about buying a metronome for Brooke. like an electric metronome. I tell her I have a very good metronome Brooke can use. It's this type. So it's this, you know, shape with a tick tick. It's a mechanical one. Doesn't need to be plugged in. I ask her if she's going to use it. At some point, I put two incense cones in the terrarium for some reason. may be related to the metronome and or the dream about Archie Thompson seems linked to. When I clean out the terrarium later, I find two incense cones. I worry the perfume from there would have had a detrimental effect on the animals, but it doesn't seem to have. Song in background, Mary Oldsmobile last night. The song was... Baby, You're Out of Time by the Rolling Stones. Image of flight map. One plane flying to east. West to east. Or E. It looks like E to C. Numbers inch c and three i don't know what that means idea of roots or inverted tree linked to nature background linked to native background and itsy grant Dream, Wendy somehow involved me in a school project that involved making and selling perfume or cologne. This was about 2013. I knew she had asked me to be involved in something like this, but then I never heard anything about it much after that. Seems like all this old stuff of hers is being thrown out in this closet where I live. I see a bunch of her notebooks spilled out of a bag or didn't get into the dumpster. 
I grab some and look at them. There is a glossy magazine advertising this cologne selling business she's doing with her school. And my name is listed as being one of the people involved. I had no idea this was going on. I feel bad because I didn't follow up more about this. She didn't ask me to participate in sales or activities, and I was a bit distracted at this time because I kept thinking I'd be out of the situation any minute. I was distracted by trying to survive. It's like she really expected me to be taking part in some school activity. I really had no idea what was going on. I also find a letter written by her to her dad about stuff she was doing. And she mentions doing something with a cousin named Kirby Thompson. I want to keep the magazine with my name in it. I see other magazines, including one that I feel like cutting up and making a collage from, like in my larger blank book, but I'm not sure if I have time for art stuff like that, though. I feel bad about missing the project with Wendy. I didn't really know what was going on. In the dream, it's 2013, but it's like Wendy was in grade school. In reality, she would have been in her mid-20s in 2013. So this is weird, and it makes me wonder if... You know, because Wendy has not had any contact with me for other than me seeing her at her sister's funeral. I have not had contact with Wendy forever, for years and years and years. And in fact, if I was down in the area and I saw Wendy, you know, she would say hello to me, but she didn't talk to me. She seemed like she avoided me most of the time. Um, which I have attributed to shyness. I figured she was shy, but maybe that something else was going on. Um, so selling perfume or cologne, that's something that I think I did when I was a kid, maybe with Susie Bruska, the crushed up pot, you know, needles or something like that, put them into a little bottle and sell them as perfume. It might've been with Susie. It might've been with Michelle DiCostanzo. It might've been both. Um, and then I know that perfume comes into other things too but as far as selling perfume well so for example um you know I had a dream in the early 90s that there was a perfume called Erica and then um, Kurt Cobain talked about the influence of a novel called Perfume on In Utero it came out in 93 um, so it's this idea of distilling a human being into a scent that's what it is but as far as us selling perfume, that was, so I think this is a suggestion of Wendy being controlled by somebody from my childhood, maybe somebody that I tried to sell perfume with. And it was either Susie Bresk or Michelle DiCostanzo. And I think either one of those people, I think both of those people are controllers. So I think there's a good chance that Wendy's being controlled by one of them. Then this idea of involving me in a school project, um, that could be my daughter. I mean, that would be the logical person who would involve me in a school project. And so that could be talking about Wendy maybe controlling my daughter. So there could be a hierarchy. This is one thing I've been wondering about lately is how these are working. I, there seems to be hierarchies of control. So it could be that... Um, Would it be Michelle or Susie? I think it would be more likely to be Michelle controlling Wendy and Wendy controlling my daughter. And then would Michelle be controlled by somebody? Yeah, pro probably. Someone like Mike Payne um, or at that level or higher. Um, one thing I've wondered, wondered is if they do redundant loops where people are controlling each other. Um, anyway, I think that's what this is. This is about not Wendy so much as people who Wendy is 
controlling and being controlled by. And a lot of this, what's going on here is framing me in different ways. You know, framing me as being flaky, framing me as being clueless, you know, and obviously I don't know, you know, I didn't know who would, who would sit and think, I mean, my daughter is being controlled by her cousin who's being controlled by this kid. I went, you know, that was my neighbor growing up who's being controlled by my mom who's being controlled by my aunt. Something like that. So a cousin named Kirby Thompson. Kirby Thompson. Um, so Kirby Thompson is a person in, or Kir, is it Kirby or is it Kirty? K-I-R-T-Y was a person in the family tree, a brother, I believe, of Bertha Thompson. Um, but Kirby, there's Kirby, McCa Kirby Sims, my daughter. So that would be Alta Thompson's brother or half brother. But, um, Kirby Sims was killed in a car accident recently. When was it? It might've been 2011, but, um, he would have been one of my daughter's cousins. Um, so he was assassinated pretty clearly. Um, one question might be why. It's not like, um, Kirby Sims, I didn't, I had never known about him. So I don't know if he, I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, so, um. But the, the thing about the, um, that family is, um, so Willard Carlson, Archie's brother, married his second wife, Shirley, was Archie's wife, Alta's sister. So it's two brothers marrying two sisters, or more technically, two half brothers marrying two half sisters, but two brothers marrying two sisters. So that, so that um, I want to say the McCash family. It's not the McCash family. It's his last name was Sims. He had a different father than Alta Thompson did. It's possible he Kirby. Sims was linked to the Carlson family, not just the Thompson family. Did my, um, so, yeah. In 2013, my daughter was in high school, senior year. So now I'm getting weird dialogues, but the pie is different. She didn't say nothing about the pie. Image of Roz walking along bar stools and tables, drink in hand. Um, she's just replaced Bank Star with a muscle man. Ha ha ha. Idea of Odd Fellows Lodge linked to the Yurok Reservation. Idea of a letter A in a house of newspaper. So it's probably about the newspaper's participation, the architecture of the situation. COVID's, Corvid's, like crows, linked to YouTube. Um, vision of a clinic, like a hospital, says Olympia around a giant donut. 